Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be looking at printing this. Now, um, I think as you can see here, this uh, we weren't overly successful in printing this. And, uh, the issue is we lost adhesion on this piece. So, before we get too far, let's go ahead let's watch the time lapse of this and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about this and then I'm going to reprint this piece so um, time lapse now for a time lapse video ready set let's go So here we are back. So um, the bottom came out actually pretty good. Uh, actually pretty impressed with the bottom. You can see we put a Raspberry Pi 2 in there. And I don't know if it's not sitting kind of funny. Okay, that piece is that down there. That's better. Um, so it fits in there actually very nice. I like that. And then the idea is, is this pops on top and those things press down. But uh, it's a little bit deformed. So the bed adhesion didn't come out uh, very good obviously with these these pieces but I like the general idea of it how it all kind of goes together and and how it uh, you know looks looks assembled so I'm gonna go ahead and try reprinting this top piece and then let's come back uh, we'll probably take a look at the, the top piece a time lapse of it being printed to see if it does any better this time around and then we'll come back at the end and see about putting the whole thing together and uh, kind of let you know how it all worked out. Now for a time lapse video. Ready, set, let's go.
Okay, well, welcome back. I showed the uh, two time lapses because we redid the uh, base. Now, this one came out okay except for a little bit around the raspberry right in here. Um, so I'm going to try popping this one up. Now, one of the things that you didn't see is, is this is actually about the third print. Um, I had to actually, in order to get this one to come out, really realign the bed and do a really good job at uh, lining bed height um, because it was a little bit of a problem. Uh, I was still getting adhesion because again these fingers are so small they really didn't want to stick and notice this, this raspberry is a little bit whacked out. I'll try cleaning that up a little bit with uh, with the knife and everything so uh, Long story short, so this should now go on here a bit like this. So that actually looks pretty good, except for this uh, piece right there where the raspberry is a little bit messed up. Again, I'm going to try cleaning that up, see if I can clean that up. Um, some of the, the tighter infills of this, I don't know if you can see, didn't come out the greatest. Um, and uh, these holes came out pretty good. I was having a problem with the holes because the initial run was lifting of the holes, uh, but those came out now. The raspberry is so-so. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would probably, and I may mix up a version of this where I take the raspberry out. I, I might just leave a bunch of holes, just simply replicate holes or, or some kind of grid here. Uh, that's a little bit easier to print than this raspberry and have the tight fittings. But uh, outside of that, um, you know, I think it did pretty good. So uh, I'm going to go clean this up and then bring it back and we'll put it all together. Okay, so here we are. We're back again. We've got it uh, relatively cleaned up as best as we can. Um, we got it snapped together. It went together pretty good. So. Uh, Kind of see all the parts of it here, bottom side, front, um, kind of cute. I do think I am going to remesh this a little bit to change this raspberry logo to something that prints a little bit better, um, to get a little bit less distortion, but uh, hey, this really didn't come out too bad. Uh, in the background on the Da Vinci, I'm trying to print the sleeve one that, that failed in my last video in neck and wood so far it's uh, coming out actually pretty good so anyways this was a really neat project um, I had wanted to do this in, in PET G but the I'm having troubles with the Wanho keeping it hot enough for it to come out reasonably nice in such a configuration and part of the problem is is this uh, uh, raspberry also I really didn't want to do a nice job on the raspberry either in these holes weren't coming out very good the bottom side was coming out pretty good so if it's if, it, if it's a bigger like flat area it seems to work fine but uh, these other smaller areas don't seem to do as well so anyways uh, hey if you found this interesting I get my finger in here give it a thumbs up even if you didn't find it interesting give it a thumbs up anyway what does it hurt and um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel I'll have the um, Octoprint video uh, playlist out very, very shortly, probably um, next day or two, so keep an eye out for that too. might come out about the same time as, as the video for this. And so, anyways, if you're interested in printing this, I'll put the link below. And, um, hey, uh, enjoy your Raspberry Pi and your 3D printer. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.